Will he use is, it? Is Jaime Mingia struggling to make the weight? Time is catching up to Canelo. And I, I thought, let me, let me have a look at the old compi box stats for um, Canelo's last three fights. Look, when Mayweather fought Canelo, he knew what yeah. he was doing. He caught him at the right time. Christian is sub. Did he duck Benavides? He was still He's reckless st in that fight as well. So. He was he was still a bit reckless. He was and this this could be his downfall. <laughs> what they say it's it's hard to get up and run in the morning when you're sleeping in silk sheets. Now he beckons Jaime Mungia. Young and heavy handed. Kendo Alvarez, are you watching? An undefeated former champion with 43 wins and a recent partnership with a legendary trainer that opened the biggest opportunity of his career yet. The Mexican bravado, with the fighter who best embodies all. Why risk so much, yet again, on May 4th in Las Vegas? Because he is Canelo. This weekend, Cinco de Mayo is in full swing with two Mexicans, Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Munguia. But is it too early for Mungia or too late for Canelo. Let's get into it, Baz. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? You're gone. This, this, this reminds me of, um, you know, when a lion, yeah, like he's had his pride for ages and he's he's experienced, but he's aging, he's aging sub. The young lions, they sense it. Mungia feels like one of them young lions to me. He's he's on the rise, yeah. And I think I think I get what you're saying, Baz. And Canelo but... is experienced. But so are you saying tired. like Canelo is like one of those lions, yeah, like like those old lions, which is just waiting to like just doesn't want to fight anymore, like just. No, but I mean, I but he's, he's I waiting. He's waiting for that to be knocked <sighs> off the perch. I feel like it. I feel like it. And I, you know what? In the in, in some of the press conferences, I, I feel like it almost felt like it was that passing of, of the of the torch. The you know, mm. like there was that respect there. There was no no beef really. Is it going to be a case though? Like Jaime Munguia, he's getting that big paycheck. Yeah. What happens? If he does another, like if he does a Charlo, and you know he just comes for the paycheck and doesn't show up, that's that's my biggest worry. Because but yeah, you're forgetting this, stuff. You're this forgetting. is a he's Mexican. He's Mexican. It's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah, like, they don't play around. But like I've been really excited for this fight. I'm surprised that the build up hasn't been bigger because it's actually a really good fight. Yeah. The styles are gonna gel. It's gonna be explosive. It should be toe to toe. It should be toe to toe. But I've got to give you some stats. Because there's, there's something I love a good stat. Go mind. on, Baz. There's something playing on my mind. All right. And, oh, and yeah, but before, and before we get into it, Baz, before we get into it, massive on. shout out to everyone that took part in the weekend in the amateur com competition at mm. the Royal Resistance Gym. It was a good show. There was some good fights yes, on there. Massive shout out to everyone that took part. It's tough as well. Like, like I was watching that and I was thinking about, you know, some of the young guys on there, they're putting their all into it. And then mm. if you get a defeat, it's it's tough. And that's at that level. And you, you, you're looking at, like, I'll bring it all the way around back to Canelo and Munguia. Like, a loss there is tough. It and is, the amount it of is. pressure. It, it's not it's not as bad on an amateur record, though, is it? Compared no, that's to, true. That's I mean, true. if you look at some of the greats, like Lamachenko and people like that, they've had losses on their, on their amateur record. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, the, win, the wins are more, but... Mm. But yeah, 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 that's true. And it, those fights are all about learning, isn't it? Like, trying new things. You've got to start somewhere. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, sorry, you, I cut you off. You cut Let's me go. off. Yeah. I you cut did. you off, go for did. it. I was in full swing. Yeah, so basically... Something was uh, playing on your mind. Something was playing on my mind. And I, I thought, let me, let me have a look at the old compi box stats for um, Canelo's last three fights. Ooh, and he's gone, he's gone to the compi box I've stats. Gone, yeah? I've gone deep. Canelo versus Jamel Charlo, three hundred and eighty-five punches Canelo threw. Canelo versus John Ryder, four hundred and fifty-nine punches thrown. Canelo versus Triple G, six hundred and twenty-two punches thrown. Mm. Is there a sequence of events? Downward trend. Downward trend, sub. Is he gonna not throw a lot this time he rounds as well? I mean, oh wow, Baz, that's mm. that's some good stats there, mm. and it kind of plays into the thought process because time is catching up to Canelo. He's thirty-three it age, is. thirty-three years of age. He's fighting a young. 27 year old Mexican he's got the height um, I believe he's has he's he got, got the reach, reach as well yeah two inch uh, reach advantage is it two inch oh you found yeah. that yeah yeah 
He's six foot, Jaime Munguia, and Canelo's five foot eight. Yeah, that's a big difference, man. That's a big difference. You could see it. You could, when, they, when they were side by side, you could see that. Yeah, but then then on the flip but side, will he use is, is Jaime Munguia struggling to make the weight? Because mm-hmm. against Deverinchenko, I believe he had issues there making the weight. That's they seemed true. to do it. He did struggle in that fight a little bit. He did, but uh, against John Ryder as well, he looked yeah. good. He paced himself quite well. And he he's teamed up with Freddie Roach in, in that last fight. Jaime Minguia, he before that, he was leaving his hands down. He was getting cool. He was yeah. being really reckless. Whereas against John Ryder, he was picking his shots. He was fighting in bursts. And you could see the noticeable improvements there. He had his hands a lot higher up, a tighter yeah. guard. Yeah. But... But he was still reckless in that fight as well. <laughs> he was he was still a bit reckless. He was and this this could be his downfall against Canelo because if he doesn't have that guard high and Canelo swings, he might not throw as many punches, but it only takes one to land. Yeah, yeah. Canelo's he's a master of bobbing and weaving as he's got older, isn't he? He he can sit he on the, he yeah. can sit he he's can more sit efficient. On, he can sit on the ring and he can slip out of those shots and then he'll come back with a counter. He, he's it's good true. at picking his shots. He's trained by Eddie Reynoso. That partnership has done well over the years. It has, it has. They, he has got the blemish against Bivol. Yeah, but he went up He went up too high, I think. He went up too yeah. much of a weight. That, that was a, too much of a big jump for him. There's, yeah. there's limits. And the technical ability of Bivol, I believe he wasn't expecting that against himself. Question is, sub, did he duck Bedevides? Well, we were calling for the Munguia fight against mm. Canelo. So to say he ducked Benavides would be going against what we were asking for. I, I think, look, well, look at, we, we kind of said we, we would be happy with both. Like we, we, yeah, Benavides, Benavides would have been a great fight. Yeah. But the size difference is massive. It doesn't doesn't matter that Canelo has been fighting up, up at that higher weight and has done it for a while. You look at the physical size difference and then Benavides would have blown up as well, even bigger. He's, he's huge. Yeah, he's massive. Like, he's massive. And like, I think that's probably why that fight will never happen. So. Yeah. And, and I think Canelo's looked at that big old fight. Right. And he's, he's he learns from his mistakes. When he fought Mayweather, he didn't win that fight. He learns from his mistakes, and he he realized against Bivol that to jump up that high again is yeah. just silly. I mean, look at look at Lemachenko as well. He's had the same issues. You get these elite fighters who keep jumping up in weight, and eventually they get to a point where they hit the, hit the wall. They hit the wall. They've jumped up too high, and I, I believe Canelo's found the level he wants to stay at, and it makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I, I I don't blame him for not wanting to fight. Benavidez. True. So, true. so I'm not going to say duck him yet. So. No, no, no. But you know, you know what this fight reminds me of? As a classic, classic uh, fight between uh, Marco Antonio uh, Antonio Ber- Barrera and Eric uh, Eric Morales. Clash of two Mexicans. This, 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 this is giving me the same sort of vibes mm. between Canelo and uh, Munguia. Yeah. And that that was a that was just a toe to toe war. So I can I can just see this being exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. So look, we we've gone through the stats. We've talked about it. It's in the T-Mobile Arena. You've got PBC mm. back in Canelo in this one. Golden Boy for Jaime Munguia. Freddie Roach on one side. Eddie Reynoso on the other. Who do you think is going to win this fight, Baz? Ah, I don't know what I want to say. Ah. Whatever you do, don't give me a round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not that's not played well. Play that well for me. Um, this could be the could be fall of Canelo, but then at the same time, I mean, is it going to be one of those fights where everyone looks at it and goes, "Ah, oh, I should have seen it. That was going to happen." Yeah, like, like like father time catching up with Canelo. No. <laughs> The, or the on the flip is, side, saying, "Oh, I'm in Mingir. It was t- tailor made for Canelo." Well, one of those ones. It's going to be one of those I mean, ones, isn't it? We thought we thought maybe that about Jamel Charlo, but the problem was he played into Canelo's hands. Mm. He fell into the traps, and this is the, the type of thing that mungia has got to watch out for. But oh, you know what? I'm gonna to have to just go with the underdog. I feel like Mungia, if he works the ring, uses his reach, and doesn't get drawn into a toe to toe, he could win this fight. Yeah, it would have been good yeah. to see the punch stats actually for Mungia's last fight against Ryder and uh, I'll tell De- you. Darren Chen. Oh. 468 punches. Okay, and that was a shorter fight, obviously, because he, he stopped Ryder in that one. What about yeah. De- Darren Chenko? Uh, I didn't get the ones for that. <laughs> didn't get that. Oh, You're you testing that, me. Man. You're testing me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us down, Baz. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah. Canelo versus John Ryder, that went the distance, didn't it? I believe. Yeah, but as and that was Canelo... four hundred and fifty-nine punches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Munguia threw a lot compared to him, really. So, look, I'm going to give you my take. Go on. Wait before you do that. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. Please do it. It helps us out. Thank right, you. Go on, yeah. So Jaime Munguia versus Canelo. You got all action, Munguia. I just, yeah, he's reckless though. Like as much as <laughs> you know, you know what I call it, even there. It's it, it's just going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight. The style no, is going to mesh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got you got to give me a, a winner of this. You, I, I'm, it, not, I'm not. It is. That. It is almost. Look, when Mayweather fought Canelo, he knew what yeah. he was doing. He caught him at the right time. Canelo was on the way up. Mayweather was it's on true. the way down. It's true. But he knew he, it was good that he fought him then because if he fought Canelo, Canelo later on, it was he knew he, he would probably end up losing to Canelo. And I think it's kind of like one of those moments there as well. Canelo's looked at it and he thinks, I'll get Munguia now because if I have to fight him later on, he'll be better. He showed yeah. improvements okay. under Freddie Roach. And it's, Canelo's a smart guy. He's he's like, I'll get him now before he improves anymore. And it's, it's smart. It's smart. And, All right, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like I think, I I like think there's probably too many holes there for Mingia. Although looking at the training videos for Canelo... He looks, he looks he like looks trim. He, he looks, looks trim. trim. His movement's good. He looks really happy though. Like it's like he looks like. What, what, is, what, it, what? Got, is he got Wilder vibes again? Is that it, what you're saying? <laughs> what they say? It's it's hard to get up and run in the morning when you're sleeping in silk sheets. Like Ooh. he's got those Dolce Gabbana. Is it Dolce <laughs> Gabbana? What what's the one? Pajamas on. Look, uh, it's such a tough fight to call, but I think. I think the timing from Canelo is is going to be spot on. He's catching Munguia at the right time. I think there could be some weight issues there for Munguia. Um, okay. It could be okay. a and the paycheck as well might have have a payday, 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 payday <laughs> might might slow down Munguia. So look, I'm gonna go. I'm going with Canelo. I'm Ooh, going with Canelo. Okay, okay. The only other fight I could compare it against, because I was trying to look back and see who else fights in a similar way to Mangia. You had Amir Khan, those fast hands, lots of punches. And we all saw what happened there. Amir Khan started off really well. He had he he was catching Canelo and you're thinking, wow, he's gonna do something here. And then Canelo caught him with that big big punch and let's uh, be honest Canelo though, went over. <laughs> chin's a lot better yeah Munguia's <laughs> chin is proper good like he took some big hits from Jer- from Derenchenko so yeah. yeah that yeah it's not like for like but that's the closest yeah. I can get to it in terms of yeah, punch yeah, I see. I see. punch speed I see. punch output that kind of thing so yeah. and it's Freddie Roach as well I think he was oh, training yeah. Yeah, he, was, he, tra- he was training Amir Khan at that time so it's it's <laughs> like almost full circle Freddie Roach would have been sitting there thinking like he would have been sitting there in his rocking chair thinking if I get one more shirt at Canelo, like I'll do it right. This is how I'm gonna beat him. So yeah. look, it's gonna be a great fight. I, like, is, I I'm is. just excited for it. I just wish you know it was getting more more plaudits, more build up because it's, true. Like, it's, it's, it's true. It's like we should just sit there and enjoy it. Who's winning this fight for you guys? Put it down in the comments and peace.